guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Laura. I make lifestyle videos. I live in New York City. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is basically just a summary of what I like to do to get back on track, all of my healthy habits, what I do on a normal basis. Just wanna take you through how I'm starting to be really strict with my diet. I need to get back on track. Summer is right around the corner. I need to get it together. I have been eating way too much chocolate after dinner and eating way too much takeout on the weekend. So if you're interested in learning about how I like to get back on track, then just keep watching. So I've been making these protein overnight oats and they keep me so full for so long. So I wanna share with you how I make these. This is the end result right here. I use this little jar, it's like an old peanut butter jar, but you can use like a mason jar or anything you have on hand and they're super simple to make. I actually prefer to eat this as opposed to oatmeal, especially now with the weather warming up, I like to eat something cold in the morning. A lot of times in the mornings, I just want something quick and easy and I don't feel like making a smoothie and causing a ruckus, you know, because that thing is loud. Okay, so for the base, you're gonna need oatmeal, just plain rolled oats, and then you can use any milk that you want. I prefer almond milk, so that's what we're going with. Also, any protein that you like. I specifically like the vanilla protein because it gives it a sweetness and I don't have to put any honey or anything in this, but of course you can add that if you want. This is my favorite protein. It tastes really good. And then some flaxseed, hemp hearts, optional, and some chia seed. So these last three things you don't need, but I feel like they really help with digestion and keeping me full for longer since there's so much fiber in all of these. And I just love eating flaxseed every day. So if I would tell you to choose one of these three, it would definitely be the flax. You might be thinking, why do you want to lose weight? I put a lot of content out about how I'm working out every day and whatever, but I'll be honest, I have gained weight within the past six months, I would say. It's just been a slow, steady increase. And I just need to exercise more and eat a little less. My eating habits have not been the greatest. So that's all. There's no problem with wanting to feel your best. And me personally, I feel best when I'm five pounds lighter than what I am now. <laughs> okay, so we have the jar here, put in half a cup of oats, and then you're gonna do half a cup of almond milk. Sometimes you'll have to add a little more almond milk depending if you put chia seeds in because they soak up all the liquid. But I like to just start off with a half a cup and then you can just add water the next day when it all settles together. So then I like to also sometimes I'll add like some salt just to give it extra flavor. So literally just like the smallest amount. So next we're gonna add one scoop of protein. You can do two, it's totally up to you, but I'm gonna be eating this protein in my smoothie today. So that's why I only am doing one. You're gonna do one teaspoon of chia seeds and then one teaspoon of flax and then one teaspoon of hemp hearts. You can also just sprinkle these on top, but I'm gonna put it in this time. Also, I'm not gonna go through and explain the health benefits of each of these and like why I use them. They all have their own specific health benefits to them, so do your own research. Again, I'm not a health professional. And I find that I don't need any sweetener added to it, so I don't add honey or like syrup or anything or agave or stevia, whatever. I just think that it's sweet enough from the protein powder, but I know like that's not for everyone. So if you need to, just add like a teaspoon of honey or whatever. Your favorite sweetener. So this is what it ends up looking like. I can already tell that there's probably not enough liquid. So just gonna add a little bit more. This is what they look like. Store it in the fridge overnight or a couple hours if you need to, and they're ready to eat. So good, so satisfying. Definitely try this. So my overnight bowl this morning, I put raspberry, strawberries, and blackberries on top. It was so good. But you can also add like bananas. If you have a sweet tooth, you can add like dark chocolate and peanut butter. That would be so good. And it's just super satisfying, and you can really make it any way you want. You can also put coconut flakes on top. There's just so many varieties that you can do. So anything that you prefer. You could also warm these up in the microwave, but I don't do that. Like I prefer the coldness, but 
personal preference, whatever works for you. So things that come to mind when I'm trying to clean up my diet is my digestion and how important it is to be on point with that. Otherwise, I just feel sluggish and off if I'm not consistent. One thing that I've been doing is drinking aloe vera juice in the morning. You can get this at Whole Foods and it's in like a glass container. A little pricey. I think this whole bottle was like $10. But if you're having any problems with digestion, this will get things moving. I normally will drink it in a shot glass in the mornings on days that I feel like I need it. And apparently this is good for your skin, but also I think that also goes in hand with proper digestion equals healthy skin. Obviously, I guess I have to mention this as well, drink a ton of water. I will be drinking from my Hydro Flask. I try to drink four of these a day. I know it's crazy, but that equals to about a gallon. So this has been good on days that I feel like I really need an extra push. And then one other thing that I like to do daily is drink chlorophyll. I put 32 drops into my water in the morning and I'll squeeze a lemon in there as well. This just helps so much. I feel overall just healthier when I'm drinking this consistently daily and there's so many health benefits to this. I love just adding this into my daily routine. So that's that. And then another thing with digestion and also goes hand in hand with having like healthy snacks around is watermelon. So I cut it up to make it super easy for me to grab and then I don't grab for like those packaged processed foods. So this is super easy. I just store it in this container. I'll eat it for dessert again great for digestion, great for hydration, and it's a great snack. So this is also very filling as well. I feel like sometimes when I snack on fruit, it's just not satisfying, but being that there's so much water in this, it definitely helps with like making you feel more full. Also, I'm on the fence about this. I've gone back and forth and I was trying to decide if I even wanted to include it because my thoughts about this change, and that's seltzer water. I know some people talk about how they drink these to kind of curb their appetite, but sometimes I feel like this makes me hungrier. I think the bubbles in it like does something in your stomach, I'm pretty sure I've Googled this before too, where it almost like tricks your stomach into thinking that you're hungrier, I don't know. I still like to drink it as like an afternoon treat, and it's still a work in progress if I think it actually makes a difference. For me personally, it's just one of those things where I choose this instead of a snack in the afternoon and it kind of keeps my mouth busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? TBD, but I still love drinking these, so I'm gonna drink one now. This flavor, cranberry lime by this Polar brand, so good. Random thing that I've noticed is if you pour this into a glass with ice, it loses all the bubbles. Not good. Okay, that's all I can think of for now. I will come back later and show you guys my smoothie recipe, but hope you guys found some of these tips valuable so far. So I'm about to make my smoothie and I wanted to share these supplements with you guys. So if you watched a recent vlog of mine, I was drinking a blue smoothie and I actually added this blue spirulina into the smoothie. I have been loving this recently. So I wanted to share this brand with you guys. It's called The Reserve. They are really natural clean supplements that you can add into your smoothies you can add it into coffee you can really do anything and it's so versatile it's so easy to just implement into your daily routine by the way all of these are free from caffeine sugar gmo soy dairy gluten additives or anything artificial which i personally love you never know what these companies are putting into these supplements so you have to be really careful another thing is they actually source these from different parts around the world so for instance this blue spirulina is sourced from Japan and then these mushrooms are sourced from Russia so also one thing that I feel like other supplement companies can't really claim is that they're manufactured in FDA approved facilities so that means they're safely produced also almost all of these products are certified organic by the USDA I feel like many supplement companies out there cannot say the same these are also tested by third-party labs to ensure that they're the highest quality so I feel Feel super confident when I'm adding these to my smoothie so I just want to go through and kind of talk to each supplement so first the lion's mane it improves your mood it increases energy and it fights stress so I love just using natural ways other than coffee to get energy next we have ashwagandha this is really good for calming you down I personally like to add this to like 
a nighttime drink so sometimes i'll make turmeric lattes and this is a great little additive in there next is maca this is really great for balancing your hormones and just improving your overall mood and then lastly is blue spirulina i love spirulina so so much but it gives you energy it's good for your gut health it has so much protein in it so if you're vegan definitely check spirulina out this blue one is so pretty as well one other thing that i want to mention about the reserve specifically is they make everything in small batches because just like any fruit or vegetable these supplements will oxidize over time and they lose their potency so they create these in small batches so that doesn't happen i really have been using these i mean you can tell they're opened i've been using these every day and i really recommend them i actually have a discount code with them so if you use laura 50 at checkout you'll get 50 percent off of your order that's crazy. I've never had a discount code that big. So definitely check this out. The blue spirulina, you guys can make really cute smoothies. These will be Instagrammable smoothies. And also these have so many health benefits to them. You will notice a difference when you start implementing them into your daily routine. I definitely notice with maca especially. I feel like it really balances my hormones, especially around that time of the month. It helps, okay? Definitely check this out. I'll leave all the details down below and let's make this smoothie. I really like to use fresh spinach instead of frozen so this was fresh at one point but then I just froze it because it was on its way out but I think I've been noticing that like the fresh just makes it a little creamier if that makes sense. we'll see how it turns out I mean all my smoothies always come out a little differently because I don't measure anything like to the T I don't have time for that insane this color of this stuff is absolutely unbelievable it's like a bright royal blue it is just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> okay here is the smoothie obviously you could make it much more blue like this stuff is really blue to begin with but if you wanted it to be more instagrammable definitely add less spinach because i added like two big handfuls so that would be my only recommendation but this still looks amazing i don't know if you guys heard about that air one smoothie i think it is i saw it all over tiktok and it had this blue spirulina in it so if you're looking to try that out and make it it's like tiktok viral check this out but let's do a taste test it's so good it's like the perfect amount of sweet it's great i'll leave all the details down below of what i used in this but this is like my typical easy everyday smoothie i don't add any like healthy fats to it the only thing that i add that's out of the norm would be vanilla protein powder so let me just clarify today is wednesday i have a rumble class book tonight I haven't been to rumble training which is like the running class since March 13th but I told you guys I need to get back on track and whip myself into shape so yes I do look back on old photos and I'm like wow I'm not trying to like change my body shape in any way I'm just trying to tone up what I have so I'm not trying to be unrealistic with all of this. Like I'm just trying to be the best version of me. That's why I like to compare myself to previous versions of myself because I know the potential that I have. I'm gonna drink this smoothie and get to work. Yes, I use the same glass for everything. I live in a studio apartment here in New York. Do you think I'm gonna be having multiple glasses? No. So I wash it after every use. I use this for my chlorophyll water my iced coffee today and now my smoothie it's just a great glass a few videos ago i was talking about how i was doing intermittent fasting and that worked for me for like a few months 
but honestly lately I have been starving in the mornings and I don't know if it's because the seasons are changing or what but I have to eat breakfast in the morning. I try to always update you guys on like my routines and whatnot because I never want you guys to see something and be like, oh, she's doing that now. And then like a month later, she's not doing that. Like I change frequently. And like I always say, like I always listen to my body. And if I'm hungry, starving in the mornings, I have to eat. Like I can't just follow that schedule. I know there's so many health benefits to it and everything. And I stand by that still but right now it's just not working for me just got home from rumble and whole foods class is great so hard i'm definitely going to be hurting tomorrow we'll leave it at that so I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Whole Foods, honestly. Starting off, I got these cauliflower tortilla chips. They are nacho flavor. I really wanted something crunchy and I was starving when I went in there. So this is why I grabbed these. It was like on the way out, I was going to the checkout line and they got me. Next I got a Faye. Greek yogurt. I love these for like a dessert after dinner. This black cherry flavor is so good. Faye is a really good brand. I also got this Chobani Flip for dessert as well. I'm like into soup right now, which is weird. I want to be like a soup girl. So I got these two plant-based soups by the Gardein brand. I got chicken and rice and then I got minestrone and sausage. So further to that, I actually only went into Whole Foods for spinach, but I got an idea because I really want to make a simple soup. I picked up this bone broth and then some sliced baby bella mushrooms, and then I'm going to put some spinach in there, some seasonings, and it'll be like one of those simple soups that you get as an appetizer at like a sushi restaurant. Obviously, there's normally like tofu in it, but... I don't really enjoy that part anyway, so I think this is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm gonna cook dinner now. I'm just gonna make my normal pasta. If you watch my videos regularly, I always share that I eat pasta. Here's dinner, nothing special. Pasta, spinach, turkey meatballs. So it's the next day. I wanted to share with you guys my green juice recipe. This is a zero fruit green juice. It's definitely not the sweetest and it's just really good for digestion and it gives me energy. I am addicted to this recently and it's so simple. It's not going to be too expensive either. It's just like normal things that you probably might have in your pantry other than like fresh ginger. You might have to go out of your way for that as well as coconut water. We match love it so also a huge thing is i use a blender for this and i like to add a lot of coconut water so that it gets into a liquid form and also i just find that when you're juicing things you're losing the fiber and those good nutrients in all of these vegetables so it just doesn't make sense i actually got rid of my juicer because i'm like so anti-juice now <laughs> It just makes so much more sense to blend it up in a blender until it becomes a liquid and you have so much more nutrients, so much more vitamins in the juice itself than you would have if you were to juice it. So I am like a strong proponent of using a blender versus a juicer. Also, it's just much easier. It's much cleaner and you don't need all of these appliances in your cabinet taking up space. That was my issue. Obviously, I live in New York. It's very small here, limited cabinet space. So I just didn't need a juicer anymore and I got rid of it, so. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need spinach. I like to buy this huge thing of fresh spinach every week just because I love to cook with this with my dinners, like saute it with olive oil. I also like to add this into my smoothies and this green juice, so it's just really cost effective and surprisingly, I go through almost this entire thing in one week and you can also store it in the freezer if it starts to get a little 
questionable. So next you're gonna want a cucumber. Normally I'll do like half of a cucumber in this. Really good for hydration. Not gonna peel this because I'm lazy. So we're just gonna go with it. You need a whole lemon, fresh ginger. Normally I will do like that much. So what, an inch, an inch and a half of ginger. A shake of cayenne pepper just gives it a little zing and so many health benefits to that as well. Again, apple cider vinegar. I'll do like a splash of this. So many health benefits. I can't even explain to you. I'll go on forever. <laughs> and then lastly is coconut water. This is just so hydrating and I cannot speak highly enough about this juice. So let's get going. So another huge reason why I love this juice so much is because you're getting basically all of your greens in in the morning, which is so great. I drank this on an empty stomach, by the way, just because, because I do. <laughs> One massive handful of spinach. I would say like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, cucumber, fresh ginger with the peel on. It's a lot of ginger, but let's go that way. Cayenne, just a shake, maybe a shake or two, and a lot of coconut water. Also, last thing is a whole lemon. Sometimes I'll do a splash of water on top just to make sure that it blends. Now we wake up the entire neighborhood with the blender. So I have the Ninja blender and I put it on the extract setting. Basically that's like the juice setting. I just noticed it's 70 seconds long, so blend it for 70 seconds. Okay, so it should have this beautiful green hue to it. This looks perfect. I can just tell by the color of it. So I actually like to serve mine over ice. I feel like it's just more refreshing like that and it's just like, it tastes better. 32 ounces of green juice right here. So healthy, you're gonna feel great after this, I promise. Here we have the lineup of beverages, coffee, green juice, water, in that order.